Hi, my magical creatures, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about beginner tips on starting your transition uh, male to female. Um, okay, so I've definitely been through the game. I know the hoops. I know what feelings and what's normal, what's not normal to feel, and all this great stuff. So I have eight tips for you guys. So when um, stuff that I was someone told me when I was starting my transition, which I think would be like really really good. Um, also like uh, experiences and stuff that helped me along the way, and um, you know things like that. So I'm here to help make sure that your transition is successful, smooth, and yeah. So let's get started. All right. So tip number one. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I have, like, my notes and everything, like, right here. So, I'm going to keep, like, looking down and, you know, telling y'all stuff like that. So, tip number one is uh, your, your healthcare provider. So, if you have medical insurance or anything like that, go to them first before you go to the gender health facility, to your local gender health facility. Because um, I went to my primary doctor and then told her that I wanted to you know transition and start these hormones and stuff like that and so she basically um told me that i have to go um see a therapist or whatever and then they have to analyze you and make sure that you're in the right mind to even take hormones and that you're ready and like all that and then after that i had like two sessions and then um i was ready to go to start my hormones and yeah and so then basically that's how it is um that's kind of how the process was for me um so after that happened um and if you don't have medical insurance then you just go to your um you go to your gender health facility and get on the waiting list um so that's that was gonna be my second option if i didn't have it um also to try to apply for medicare medical or medicare um, I know here in California, I um, think that's like free medical insurance. So we'll try to um, see if we can get that and then get the hormones that way. Um, tip number two is get a support group. Trust me, because going through your transition, you're probably most likely gonna feel like you're, you are alone. I've been alone for a really long time, y'all. And not having another trans person in my life, not having friends that are transgender, uh, family, relatives that are not really supportive. You know, I was around a lot of people that weren't really supportive. Um, so honestly, I feel like, you know, your friends are a best bet. Uh, me personally, I wanted a best friend that was transgender, but clearly that never worked out. So basically what I did was, um, YouTube was my best friend. I kid you not. I remember watching Elena and Genevieve, um, Eden the Doll, and Ella, and Angela Vanity. Those were the three trans girls that I watched daily on YouTube. Um, and and it's funny too because we all started our transition at the same time, which was really crazy. And um, oh, and Nikita Dragon. I watched a little bit of her too on YouTube. Um. The, so basically how I made it and how I got through um, not feeling so alone was that I watched them on YouTube and they were always constantly um, updating and constantly putting content out every week. So I was basically, I felt like, you know, oh my God, like they're like me. And to be honest, I wanted to be, I don't want to be like them, but I wanted, I wanted to be as pretty as them and like... I wanted to be that girl because they they're beautiful okay and I wanted to be like part of their clique and like I wanted to be just like them um in a way I know I said I don't want to be just I don't want to be like them but you know what I mean I wanted to be my own person but at the same time I wanted to be part of that clique like yeah I'm pretty as hell and I'm cute and feminine and like all this stuff so yeah um Definitely, that's how I got through being lonely and stuff like that, is that YouTube was my best friend. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, um, also support groups too, like there's, um, I remember I went to, 
to a transgender group through my healthcare provider and I was the only youngest trans girl there. The rest were like in their 50s and 60s transitioning. And I remember he, the, I mean she, sorry, she was, um, she basically looked at me and said like, see, she's lucky that she's doing this early. Like she's smart because she was saying that when I, like here I am like almost 60 years old and I'm just now starting my transition. She will have a life, unfortunately for me, you know, I won't. You know, and I felt really bad, you know. Um, but also, that's like another support group type thing that you can go to. Um, what else? YouTube, that Facebook group. Trust me, now that the internet is popping and there's so many support groups, stuff like that. Um, definitely. There you go, you know. Um. Uh, Tip number three, get a part-time job at a girl's clothing store. So for me, when I turned 18, um, I got a job at Charlotte Roos. At the time, oh my God, I love Charlotte Roos. I love the clothing there. It was I was always broke working there because I was always spending my check at Charlotte Roos. So um, a lot of my clothes are actually from Charlotte Roos. Um, my shoes, my clothes, accessories, everything. It was just like my style and they, you know, all of it was, you know, there at that store. So the discount there, I don't know what the discount is there now, but I remember it was 40% off and then every other month on one weekend, we got 50% off of everything. So, you know, work, uh, working there, um, yeah, I stocked up and I got a lot of girl clothing, you know, and, um, yeah, just get a part-time job at a like a girls' clothing store like that you really like, and use like the discount um, there. Use your discount there to get like all your clothes discounted, and like you can buy what you want. Because honestly, that helped out for me because I transitioned in the fall winter time, and then I told myself within six months, which was gonna be summertime, um, I was gonna trans fully dress up full fully live my life full time as a woman basically and so with that I um, started stockpiling clothes like within six months I just started just grabbing things for the summer that I really liked this would be cute that would be cute with that and then within by the time uh, June came end of May early June that's when I did the whole shabam and I had a whole wardrobe full of clothes and shoes and you know stuff like that so um, definitely I would recommend doing something like that just work like one or two days out of the week there use the discount get your stuff and after you get what you need you can leave if you don't like it or go somewhere else um tip number four start growing your hair out now sis because trust me I feel like I mean it's to each their own or whatever, but for me, I love long hair. I've definitely been a big fan of the show Winx Club, Totally Spies, all those girl brats. You know, all of them have really long hair. So definitely, I started growing my hair out. Um, yeah. And definitely, um, when growing your hair out, oh, invest in this product. It's called Moroccan oil. I'm gonna show you guys. It's like really good. You definitely want to invest in something to help your hair grow. Is this stuff Moroccan oil? Um, I really like it. And now this video is not sponsored. I wish, but no, it's not. But I really like this stuff, and I put this stuff in my hair, and my hair just grown ever since. Okay. Tip number five, laser hair removal. Trust me, I spent over $1,000 in laser hair removal because where I went, um, she did like a package thing. So it was like $500 for 12 sessions. Um, I don't even think her business is up and running anymore. But at the time when I was transitioning, I heard by word of mouth to go to this place and she was really cool and she was very open-minded to transgender people and she was really nice to me and she was super kind of supportive 
Um, yeah, so about after that, I had like 24 sessions and I did full body, you guys. I did full body, um, skin, uh, full body laser hair removal and it was extremely painful. I cried. I went through a lot, y'all, and it was very painful and I just kept going and now my body's pretty, I don't know, my, the hairs are, some, uh, some areas don't even grow back, some areas the hair goes back super thin, so, um, definitely, that's what I did because I had a full on, like, beard and mustache and, like, I had a full scruff of hair, y'all, and so after getting laser hair removal, I don't even have to worry about that no more. So I'm like really happy about that. Um, tip number six, voice feminization training. Um, so definitely there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to get your voice sounding like a woman. Like my voice is pretty deep, or um, it's, it's deep, I'm not gonna lie. But um, also too, um, I can definitely get my voice super high pitched. Um, yes, and I can talk very feminine. Um, I'm definitely not scared or whatever. But, yeah, like, I'm really happy about that. Um, definitely that takes practice. Um, the hormones do not make your voice feminine or whatever. Um, how I did it is that I read a book and then I just talked in a really high-pitched Mickey Mouse voice. I'd read like 10 pages and then like let my voice rest and then over time your muscle voice muscles will uh, you'll start to naturally sound feminine um, so that's how I did it also tippy from YouTube the uh, daddy chill daddy chill guy or whatever um, he also has a video on how he got his voice very feminine and he sounds like a straight woman y'all so definitely um, start doing that in the beginning because that's going to help later on in the future with your voice um so tip number seven practice your makeup literally you guys when i first started my transition i watched over i'm a, about a million videos of patrick star manny um M ma makeup artist mua manny mua Keita Dragon, Elena Genevieve, Angela Vanity, like all those, like every makeup tutorial out there, I've watched it and seen it. And that's how I practiced doing my makeup. Now my makeup looks pretty good. Yeah, but it took practice, you guys. Um, it took time, it took practice. But honestly, uh, just, you know, definitely do that I'll do like some makeup tutorial videos for you guys um and some of y'all you know I know like some people are like well I don't like wearing makeup you don't have to wear makeup but I'm just saying like I feel like if you want to look a little you know in the beginning if you want to look a little feminine maybe do like some foundation you know some mascara maybe some lip gloss you know just stuff you know to kind of hide like certain features you know what I mean like back then um I used to contour the heck out of my face because I felt like my chin was a little masculine you know so I would contour my face you know stuff like that um so that's what I would do um tip number eight I'm just adding a tip it's not on my list but I just thought of it right now is don't compare yourself to other women. Do not compare yourself to other trans girls. Don't compare yourself to anybody because that's what I did and not really mess with my psyche and everything like that. Um, don't compare yourself to others. You are who you are. You are your journey is very unique and different from uh, everyone from everyone's journey. Okay, um, your you are on your journey and it's gonna take time okay um don't compare yourself you will get there when you get there um i hope i hope y'all understand what i'm saying on that um because that's what i did i compared myself a lot to a lot of instagrammers and people on youtube and all that stuff all thing that glitters isn't gold okay what they're showing is they're showing you what they want you to see Okay, you don't really truly know what's going on behind when the camera is off and, you know, 
Instagram pictures. You don't really know what's going really going on. You know, they're just showing you what they want to show you and what and what they want you to think of them. You know, so uh, don't compare yourself. And tip number nine uh, is don't give up. Oh my God, you guys, don't give up. Um, there was so many times where, okay, I've never wanted to give up, but there was times where I was just like, dang, like, I don't like being known as a transgender. That's why a lot of trans girls end up like just stealthing and not wanting to come out as transgender because being labeled as a, as a well-known trans person, you have like, you have a lot of people trying to hate on you. You have people like, um, when I was going through my transition, like I was trying to get that vagina surgery, you know, I was trying to get my blues on, trying to get my FFS, like I was trying to get all that stuff. And I remember it was just so many haters in the way talking about something, you'll never be a woman no matter how much surgery you get, or you'll never find a man that will love you and treat you right. You know, like all this stuff and, um, you know, you always will be a man because you're, you have an XY chromosome, not an XX chromosome. And just, all, I've heard it all, y'all. Like, I've been discriminated. I've been through a lot, okay? Um, don't give up. Just because they haven't accepted it, you've accepted it, okay? It's your life. You have to see, view yourself in the mirror at the end of the day or during the day, whatever, when you look in the mirror. Um, and you only get one life. Okay, when you start doing what makes you happy, when you put yourself first and your happiness first and do what makes you happy, you'll be so much happier and you're going to be in, in a much better place and you're going to radiate higher vibrational energy and it's going to rub off on other people and other people are going to be attracted towards your light because you're radiating so much positivity and happiness and everything like that that people are gonna notice that and pick up on it and um that's why people when they pick on other people or people that uh want to be mean to other people or hurt other people it's because they're broken and they're hurt and they're just projecting their insecurities onto that person just to make themselves feel better it sounds cliche but it's so true um so you do what makes you happy you get one life and you only view your you have to look at yourself at the end of the day and you got to be happy with the consequences that you chose in your life, you know? Um, I made it. I got my face done, got my FFS, got my eyes up on room, got my boobs done, and I have a vagina and I'm happy with everything. I've made it, got through my transition. It took me five years to fully transition. It's because I was going to school and I was living with a family relative and all that, but now I made it. I live on my own. Got all my surgeries. I'm living my life now. I'm happy. Um, and now I'm working on other goals. Um, so definitely YouTube, watching the other um, trans girls on YouTube and seeing their journey and like me, like just watching them on YouTube all the time, it made me uh, not give up and it made me keep going, you know? It made me like just be like, you know what? gonna it's gonna come like I'm gonna make it you know so um yeah you guys these are all of my tips that um these are all of my tips for beginners uh starting their transition male to female um definitely I hope you guys love this video I love each and every one of you guys I want you guys to be happy I want y'all to fulfill your dreams and you know one day when y'all make it and complete all y'all goals is that y'all you know pass it on you know and give it your advice and help other people too you know uh that's why i started this youtube channel is because i was just tired of hiding and you know what um if i can help one trans person out there then you know what? i did my part so um definitely sh be yourself shine bright be a star be you are so um definitely if y'all 
have any more video ideas or what y'all want me to talk about leave a comment down below and definitely don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the bell notification and um see y'all in the next video stay magical